The, the program that we had our first maiden test flight today it was called DART, D-A-R-T, and it stands for Dust at Altitude Recovery Technology. The main science objective is to be able to collect dust in the atmosphere from about 500 feet off the surface up to as high as maybe 80,000 feet. In order to get to those really high altitudes, you need a high-performance jet like you see behind me, the F-104 Starfighter. Every year, approximately 50 million metric tons of dust moves across the Atlantic in these dust plumes. And in those dust, there's a great deal of diversity of microorganisms. But there's very little known of whether pathogens are being moved. And these would be plant, animal, or human pathogens. We also don't know how the dust plumes change quantitatively with altitude. 250 miles an hour. We're going to go above the dust storm to sample clean air, drop into the dust storm to sample the top of the dust storm, middle of the dust storm and then eventually the lower part of the dust storm and we'll have quantitative data on the microbes that we're recovering, the size particles of the dust and then also the ge geochemistry of the dust because you can actually track the location of the origin of the dust particles by geochemical signatures. Once we understand sort of the, what they, what's called temporal and spatial distribution, in other words time and space distributions, then we can begin to model health risks for agriculture, for human populations in cities, and also for uh, animal husbandry. I think it's important for IFAS to participate in this research because within IFAS there are multiple departments that have responsibilities for pathogens. If we find out that we have a whole influx of new types of pathogens that were previously thought to be coming in on transplant material, for example, but they're blowing in, we might have to realign a lot of our regulatory protocols as well as uh, agricultural practices in the field. We can't stop the dust from coming in, but we need to understand what's there so we'll be able to maybe make operational changes in our behaviors on the ground when we know a dust plume is coming in.